Hi guys. For those of you who don't know, I'm currently a grad student studying math. So I thought I'd make some speed draw videos with commentary about the life of a grad student, since it's probably more interesting than just drawing with music in the background. Um, recently I wrote a series of exams called qualifying exams. Uh, these are essentially exams that cover a broad range of topics and you have to pass them in order to remain enrolled in the program. So that's kind of stressful since you don't want to be kicked out of the program. And whenever I have something stressful like this to do, I like to read about or hear other people's experiences. It just kind of like provides me with some sort of comfort. But I couldn't really find much about quals when I searched except for one article which I'll link down below. So I decided to make a video listing some tips. I also want to mention, I don't consider myself naturally super talented in math. Um, I was good at calculus, but in undergrad, I really struggled with the first few pure math courses I took, and it took me a while to kind of understand how it goes. But I really enjoyed it, and I love math, so I worked hard at it, and somehow I'm able to progress in grad school. I wanted to mention that just in case there's anyone like me who loves math but has self-doubt, if you really do like it, like I think you can succeed, so just don't give up. I think researching math takes at least as much patience and hard work as it does natural talent, so you should be okay. That aside, I'll go into my tips now. Number one, start early. I know it's something you probably hear all the time, but I really think this matters to help keep you less stressed. When I wrote these exams, the format was they gave me a list about 60 to 80 problems per exam at the start of the school year. And then the exam was actually in August of the following year. So you had like a whole year to work on your problems. And then the professor would select like a handful of these problems to put on the exam. But 50 or sorry, 60 to 80 problems is a lot, especially these are PhD qualified exam problems, so some are like really hard. Uh, like some of these problems took me a few weeks to think of thinking to solve. So I really think it makes it easier to start working on the problems way ahead of time. And then you can take your time solving them, like not be stressed. And if if you are studying math, chances are you enjoy like the problem solving process. So I think it's more enjoyable to do that when you have some time and you aren't like super stressed to complete them all. Number two, work with friends. If you're in grad school and haven't made any friends yet, I really encourage it. I know it might be hard and I myself am pretty shy and it took me a few months to make friends in my pr program, but now I really consider them good friends. And for these exams, when you have over 60 problems to solve, it becomes much easier if you split these problems up with one or two of your friends. I mean, compare solving 60 problems to just solving 20 or 30. I split up my problems with one of my friends, so instead of doing 65, we each like, split that in half and it was much easier. Number three, uh, create a study schedule. Creating a study schedule and logging your study hour hours really helps keep you on track. Personally, I like to give myself at least two hours per day to study for each exam. So I had to do two qualifying exams. And then also leave some other time for research and TA work and stuff like that. And I also use like to use the Pomodoro method, which if you guys don't know, it's you study for 25 minutes then take a five minute break and cycle like that or I did a like setting for 50 minutes and then take a 10 minute break and then after each hour of studying I'd log it in my bullet journal then at the end of the day I could actually see how long I studied and it was kind of nice tangible way to like see I actually was studying and working and etc and also having a schedule helps keep you moving like sometimes you get stuck on one problem and you work on it for like five hours and realize oh no I didn't like do any other problems now I'm behind so this kind of helps you like if you're really stuck okay stop and go work on the next problem number four write down your solutions with notes so I think writing solutions down clearly as you solve problems will help your future self a lot 
uh, there were times when like I solved the problem, then I only jotted down like a few details of the problem, and then like when I came back later, I was like, "What the heck is this? I don't know." So I had to like basically resolve the problem. So it's easier when you're reviewing to actually have the whole solution out. So it, you just have to like work less hard at the end. Number five, memorize solutions. So these are hard problems and you spent a lot of time working on them. So I think it's best to memorize your solutions before the test. Probably a week is enough to memorize, but it might be less stressful if you take two weeks to memorize. For one of my exams, I gave myself two weeks and it was actually quite chill memorizing them. And then the second one I only had a week and I basically just spent like eight hours a day trying to memorize like this huge list of problems. So it was a little bit stressful, but like a week still is enough. I was able to do it. Um, and to memorize, I made flashcards of the problems with hints on the back. So I'd shuffle my cards, uh, take a problem, try to solve it if I can't, look at the hint on the back. If I still can't, I'd like go to my written solutions. And I think it's better to like randomly uh, solve your, like randomly quiz yourself instead of like looking at the problems in the same order all the time because then your brain might like need to have it recalled in that specific order and on the test it'll obviously be mixed up and i also think like actually actively trying to recall and write down your problem is more like you'll memorize it faster than if you're just reading your solutions over and over again okay and final number six so the day before day of test um, so it's the day before the test you've worked really hard so just take it easy, review your solutions for an hour and two, and then take the rest of the day to relax or do something fun. And on the day of the test, I think it's best just kind of chill, try to get get rid of your nerves. Like I played video games, um, it's 2020, so I was playing Animal Crossing and just tried to relax myself until the exam came. I think if you study like right up till the exam, you might burn yourself out and um, just maybe confuse yourself and it's probably not the best idea. Um, so these are all my tips on passing qualifying exams. Um, if if any of your grad students or are interested in being grad students or ha have any other like top video topic ideas, I'd love to know. Um, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for listening.